Hello everyone, welcome again to the course. Now in this course we are talking about some data types and in that series today we will talk about the character data type. Okay, so let's remove this line and let's talk about the character data type. This character is a very special data type in C sharp programming language because it represents only one single character. That character can be anything. It can be number, it can be alphabets, it can be any other symbol but it must be only one single letter. Let's see how it will work. Now let's talk about how to define the character in C sharp programming language. To define the character, we have to use a type which is char or we generally call it char. After using this char, you need to define a meaningful name. So for example, here I'm typing first variable like this. That's how we can simply declare it. Now to assign the value, we have to put an equal symbol and make sure you are putting the data in single quote. That's the only difference. So here is the single quote, this one. And here inside the single quote, you can put anything. For example, here I'm typing A in caps, it will work. If I'm typing small a, it will also work. I'm typing one, this will also work. I'm also putting some symbols like this comma or this minus or this plus, all these things will work. But if I will type, more than one single character for example like this plus a then you will see immediately we are having a red line over here it is saying too many characters in the character literal so it means we can only have only and only one single character and the difference in between character and string is that here we have to use single quotes and for the string we have to use double quote in this situation if you will compare c sharp with some other programming languages for example javascript typescript in angular as well then you will notice that they do not have a separate data type for single character you have to use a string over there but here we can use a string and character as a separate data type now one more difference is in other programming languages you can define your string by using single quote or double quote as well but here in Caesar you have to use single quote for the characters and double quotes for the string okay now let's see what all other things are available in this character now let's talk about assigning the values to assign the values again we have different situations for example you can assign the value while declaring it like this or you can also assign the value in next line for example like this here i'm writing first variable is equals to this like this now if i want to display the value on the console screen then we can simply use it like this so what i have done is i have created a variable with name first variable then in the second line I am just assigning the value and then I'm just printing the value. So let's run this application and let's see how it goes. On the console screen, you will see we are getting the value A and this is very simple. Whatever you will put over here, you will get the value on the console screen, right? Let's put something else. For example, this comma. See, we have everything over here on this output. Now let's talk about few more things about this character. We can also use this system dot care to work with the characters so here i'm writing where one and we can also do it like this and if i want to display the value let's use one more line over here so this is the first variable and this is the where one so over here we will see a let's print the value see first we have comma and then we have this a so either you can use this character or you can also use this system.care but because this care is an alias for the system.care so it is always recommended to use this care and all the developers use this care all the time in all the projects okay let's remove this let's right click on this care and click on this go to definition let's see what we have over here we are having a type struct over here right that's the namespace system.care and that is how we are accessing it in this struct, you will see there are different properties and methods available. But here I'm much interested in the public one because I can access them outside this struct. So this is public and it is the max value. So this is the maximum value of the character and that is the minimum value, right? And let's basically collapse them first. So here are some public methods. It is saying is a sky. If you are using this method and you are passing one single character, then as a return, you will get a Boolean value. Boolean means true or false. And that will state that this particular character is an sky value or not. Then we have this equal equals compare to compare to 
so basically there are different overload and override as well let's talk about couple of them let's define one more variable over here so here i'm writing where two or just where one so here in this where one i'm just putting a value which is going to be let's say a let's try with this equal method let's run it we are getting false because they are not equal if i put a over here this time both of them are equal so we must get true fantastic if i use uppercase as well then let's see what is the output false because the sk value is different for both of them and that is why we are getting false value over here there are few more methods available over here so let's use care dot is see we are having so many methods is sk is sk digit and then we have is between is control is digit let's try this is digit method first so here either you can use your variable name or you can also pass the character value directly for example if i'm passing one over here like this and run this application then you will see we are getting true this is because this method is checking if this particular character is number or not if it is number then you will get true if it is not a number then you will get false for example if here i'm passing n and run this application then you will get false value over here like this so basically there are so many methods i would suggest to try all of them because i cannot demonstrate all of them over here if i talk about this is between method you will see we have to pass three values over here first is your current actual character then the minimum value and the third is maximum value if your character is in between this minimum and maximum then you will get a true if it is not then you will get a false so you do not have to remember all of them you simply have to use the intelligence just go to the definition and see what is there right so if i want to go to this definition of this is between then right click go to definition like this or basically if you will visit this particular struct then you can see all the methods over here this is the is between method this is the check letter method this is is letter method if you will pass the character then you will get true or false this is the return type true or false studying if it is a letter or not is upper you can also check your character is in the upper form or in the lower form we have one lower as well right is punctuation is letter or digit to upper so this to upper is basically used to convert something into upper form so if you are using a lower form and if you want to convert it to the upper then you can simply use this to upper right and it will return a character so for example if you are having a small a and you are using to upper then you will get a return value in caps we have two lower as well and these methods are basically used to convert it to some other data type so visit this particular struct and try to use as many methods as you can that is all in this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.